zomer van 1983 overvalt de bende van Nijvel de koolruit in Nijvel. In Leuven wordt de eerste reageerbuisbaby geboren. Vanessa Williams is de allereerste zwarte Miss USA. En iedereen leeft het goede leven. We are walking like in a Dolce Vita. This time we got it right. Ryan, could you describe the period before Dolce Vita? Because you were in a rock band, you were an actor. Yes. Tell me all about that. Period. Can I say buongiorno? Yes, of course. <laughs> buongiorno. <laughs> in that period, uh, before Dolce Vita, I was living here. I had a, I have different band, but this came uh, when I was 17. You know, I had the first band that we did uh, all cover from the 70s. Yeah. Before Dolce Vita, it was Gigolos. We were four. The men from uh, the synthesizer had to go away to the soldier. And I found the producer, composer of uh, Dolce Vita, Pierluigi Giombini. I wrote a song, we produced the song in one night, I bring to him back the next day. And he said, wow, this song is beautiful, I want to produce. We worked it. Probably he had the idea to use my voice, but the song is still nice. And uh, one day he called me and he said, I have another song for you. And it was Dolce Vita. And that was Dolce Vita. Yes. And then when you heard that song, Dolce Vita, did you think straight away, yes, that's a special song? Right away, I, I came back and I remember I came inside to, to, to my house uh, from where my mother lives and I made a jump, uh, almost, uh, you know, <laughs> touch the, I am one meter you 92. You the ceiling? No, the ceiling not, the, you know, the... The lamp? lamp the lamp. Okay. And I said, this song is great. And it was really a, a nice song. Um, and and what, what made it so special? Why did you think it was so special? That, why did you think it was the so special? The melody is nice. The sound were totally new. Yeah. It's very catchy. It looks like uh, um, um, publicity, advertising song. And then it starts so easy with the bass. Bum, 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 bum. And the people, they remember right away. Beginning, they weren't really interested. No, they say yes. Uh, well, and then it came right away number one, number one straight away after four days in the big radio in in, Nord, in Milano, and uh, then up until March and then down, uh, because the record company was very little. They didn't they didn't make so much publicity yeah. and things like that. And then, boom, in and uh, all, yes, exploded in all Europe, in Spain, in, in Holland, Ge uh, Belgium, Germany. You know. We're living like in a Dolce Vita. What are like the nicest shows or concerts that you remember that you did in that period? Um, well, television. I, I remember that now. In, in, in Holland, I went there. I was not known, but number one. That week, number one. I yeah. mean, uh, uh, it was August. I uh, know, July or August, I don't know, uh, 1983. And uh, for me, it was uh, incredible, you know, because uh, I was a fan of many. And um, the, 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 the woman that presented the show said, you sit here on this bar in, uh, in a studio tonight, we will be somebody, somebody else. And in the night, there were all the components from Spandau Ballet, and you went, were a fan of Spandau Ballet, and, and they were there. And I, <laughs> they were number two. I was. I went number one. I mean, oh, that's. Wow, uh, that must be crazy. That, yes, yeah. really. <laughs> I, the the singer is a good friend of mine uh, now because we met after, you know. But in that moment, it was wow. Nobody else than you. And then you're still doing music, like you said. You even made a remix. I think no, the, it's not a remix. It's a remake. A remake from Dolce Vita. Yes, and it's now a number. Uh, is number 10 in uh, this Jockey Day top international chart, which is a very famous chart in Germany. And I'm very happy because it just came as a new entry. I'm doing different things. I'm working in Belgium with uh, um, Andres Romero, mm -hmm. which did uh, many things in Belgium, Nunca and uh, Tufa Biola. Yeah. Yes. And tell me, how did that come about? Well, Andres is, is a friend of mine and we met each other some years ago through some, a DJ from uh, Frankfurt and um, is a um, very good producer and um, also a very good composer. So I, I feel very good with him. We are working on some new songs. So if I have to uh, find an end conclusion, Salute. you would say that Dolce Vita was a blessing for you? For sure, for sure. Uh, you cannot say uh, luck, you cannot say I deserve. 
he came, so it was beautiful.